Hey everybody, it's Ronnie, RR21 Tactical. Coming to you live from the man cave, AKA laundry room slash basement. Um, just a couple quick words here about this video that I'm editing that you guys are about to see. One of my students by the name of Antoinette Morris uh, came to me wanting some training. Never held a gun, never shot a gun. This young lady is ended up being a natural. She's awesome shooter. Did a lot better than I thought she would do in the time that she did it. I knew she was going to be good, but I didn't know she was going to be good this fast. Um, Antoinette is one of the many single women here in the metro Atlanta area who is um, wanting to defend herself, um, as every woman should want to learn how to do. Um, one of the things I specialize in is women's self-defense. A lady called me today at the shop and said, hey, I need help. Uh, this morning around 2.33 o'clock, woke up somebody standing over my bed and I had no means of protecting myself. She scared him off, beat him off a little bit to where as he'd run and she set off alarms and everything like that. I tell if I'm not mistaken, called the police, whatever. Ladies, please seek some sort of, of women's self-defense, whether armed, unarmed, or both. Um, there's several, several instructors out here in the Atlanta, Georgia area. Um, get it from me, great. Get it from somebody else, great. Get it. Fellas, if you work crazy schedules, like second shift, third shift, and your wife is, or your lady has got to come home from the store or practice or whatever with the kids and you're either on the road or you're working the second or third shift, get them enrolled in these classes, man. Take the classes with them. We even have uh, couples classes so you learn how to defend each other when you're out in public. Um, there's a lot of things going on here in Metro Atlanta that are probably going on over the rest of the United States of America. I think there's been 1.3, 1.4 million home invasions a uh, year to date. So, people, please learn how to defend yourselves. Some some people may not be in the gun. Some people may be scared of them. Some may have had a bad experience. I understand. Totally get it. There are a whole lot of people out here training in these forms. Um, if you would, please seek out. If you want to, if you want to know more, reach out to me here. You or you can email me. You can go to the website and email me rr21tacdefense.com and you'll see that in, in, uh, during the video enjoy the video please click like, subscribe check out our other channels on, uh, excuse me, our other social media Facebook, Patreon Instagram enjoy the video guys, always remember stay in the yellow Hi, my name is Antoinette Morris and I am a licensed carrier um as a single woman in Atlanta, it was very important for me to want to protect and defend myself, if need be. Uh, the profession that I have, because I am an owner of a production company, I find myself doing audio and video at different times of night, different shoots, you know, different audio gigs. And so at different times of night, I would be coming in and out of the house or different times of day, in and out of the house. And this one particular night, I was on my way home and there was this car just trailing me for about maybe five, six miles. And every turn I would make, they would make, and every, you know, uh, stop sign. I mean, it, it made me so nervous and I was like, are they trailing me? So I was about maybe three blocks from my home at that particular time. And so I decided not to go home because I didn't know if they were following me. And eventually they turned off because I kept driving. I just. I didn't want to get out of my car. And so that night I made up my mind that I have to have a method to defend myself in case something happens. And so I went to the gun range and I wanted to learn how to, to fire a firearm. And guns, you know, they used to make me nervous. But after getting instruction from Ronnie, and learning how to properly hold the weapon, how to properly 
clean the weapon. After going to the gun range, I make sure that I clean my firearm uh, properly so that it can function properly because if I get into a situation and it's not up to par or I haven't maintenance the weapon, then what good is that going to do me? But Ronnie taught me everything I needed to know. He taught me how to, he made me so comfortable that first time I ever shot a weapon. And this is about, this was maybe, I want to say about two months ago. Yeah, it was in May, May, June, June. Yeah, it was about two months ago. And so that was my first time firing a firearm. And I went in, Ronnie was there, and he like took me under his wing almost. And it just, I just, I'm so comfortable now. You know, I go to the gun range and I would fire off a couple rounds uh, into the targets, just making sure that I can stay sharp. But the one thing that I appreciate is his ability to teach me what I need to know to protect myself. He puts me in different situations. He said, I want you to fire with your right hand, uh, just one, one hand. And then I want you to fire with your left hand, just one hand. And um, I want you to, he makes sure that I'm balanced and that I can do what needs to be done to protect myself. Because being single out here, you never know what could happen. I never know what I could face or what I could come up against. And being able to protect myself was very important. And I'm a licensed carrier, so wherever I go, I can, you know, except for New York, <laughs> I can protect myself. So I'm happy about it. RR21 self-defense, uh, tactical self-defense, that is something that we all need. Uh, if you are properly trained and you have the proper mindset when it comes to firearms, I believe everyone should, should be licensed to carry, to protect yourself because there are people out there, unfortunately, they desire to do harm or they desire to to be evil and, and devious and desire to walk up on on, on women in, in places where where it's just not good. Gas stations. I've seen some guys walk up on women in gas stations, and if that happens, I want to be able to protect myself and defend myself. And I'm so glad that I met Ronnie Oliver and got involved with RR21 Tactical Self-Defense. It's something that everybody needs.